Hello and welcome back to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales. I do apologise, there wasn't a video out last week as far as painting was concerned, but there was this one. I encourage you to go and have a look at that. And I did mispronounce it, it's actually polypropylene glycol. There we are, polypropylene glycol. So if you hear me say anything different, I'm lying. <laughs> no, so it's polypropylene glycol. Something you want to have a look at. Yes, yeah, very, very important. Check out the iCADs. With that said, let's have a look at the palette and see what we're going to do today. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. Visit Clive5R.co.uk So as you can see, I've got a bit of red, a bit of yellow. I got a little bit of uh, dioxazine purple, um, and that's that's a tube bought colour. Um, I've got a bit of phyllo blue, another shop bought colour, bit of black and bit of white, and uh, I've got some uh, misting white there because I want to make a blurry black round. So I'm looking at my canvas panel. It was not a canvas panel, it's actually it's a piece of cardboard, but you know it's, it's this is actually eight by twelve. There we are. It's an eight by twelve piece of cardboard. These, but these, this cardboard is readily available on eBay. You can pop along and buy some of that. There you go, and um, it comes pre-cut. Um, to it's just just over sixteen by twelve. There we are, and I cut it in half, and I paint both sides of that. And it's great for little sample paintings, YouTube videos, and, and that type of thing as well. So yeah, it's very good to to paint on. And yes, before you say anything, I do gesso the 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 the, the card. Um, even though card is absorbent, um, the gesso helps the um, st stop it soaking in so quickly. And we'll talk a little bit about how acrylic paints um, dry. So what I was thinking today was just doing some simple lines. Five lines, roughly. Okay, so that's one line. I want to give myself something to do today. I want to do another line there, maybe another line there so that's one two one two three so we need five lines don't we five well we may be able to get away with four lines actually actually we'll do that there you are so we got one two three four one two three four five lines five lines that's what we've got to work to okay yes i have thought about this one today i have thought about this one i'm not going to lie to you this is not off the cuff as they say, this is, uh, this is I've, I have been giving this a little bit of thought. So I got my kitchen roll. This is my paper towel, which I keep in my hand. There we go, my kitchen roll. And today I thought, um, I'm just going to get in a little bit of yellow. And I'm going to go in from there, down to there like that. Nice bit of yellow there. I'm going to add a little bit of white to that now. Because I want to do a sunset. I want to do a sunset today. That's the plan. A little bit of red. Just the smallest a touch of red. This is cardinum red. So I'm starting off with a with a yellow. A little touch of white. Be careful it doesn't go pink. There we are. Doesn't matter if it's a little tinge of pink in the sky. I'm I'm happy with that. A little small amount of red and a little bit of yellow. There we are. Let's get a little bit more. And I don't know why I keep getting these messages. There you go. Um, let's just do not disturb. There you go. All right. So let's get let's get a little bit of red in the sky. Phones. I hate phones sometimes. I really do. We 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 live now, and we. We are so dependent on phones, aren't we? We are so dependent on phones. Now, you can see that I'm not using a lot of moisture in my paint. Just a small amount of moisture. If you want to know how to make this, if you want to know how to make this, watch the video in the iCards. Yes, because that does involve the product I was just mentioning. So, yeah, have a little, have a little play around with that. But it's important that you go along and look at that video especially if you're a beginner because it actually helps a lot with the painting 
and this is some, something else you need to do if you've never if you've if you've just started out with acrylics and i know a lot a lot of my my viewers are just starting out with acrylics i'm trying to get this i don't want it i don't i want a blurry effect that's that's the what i'm trying to find is a nice blurry effect so i'm gonna i'm going to darker red there less yellow a bit more yellow down here i'm going to test 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 a touch of white maybe just down there like that i'm just gonna just a touch of white just down there like that just a bit of a bit of a glow now i put a little bit too much paint on there but that's okay so just get a little bit of yellow my sister said if you're learning then that's okay just don't worry about things if if you make a little mistake just carry on paint over it acrylics are very forgiving they're very very forgiving so we will win in the end just keep going don't get too too despondent about about it don't get too despondent just play have fun learn if you make a lot of mistakes and you're not happy at the end of the day with your result then just carry on and just think yeah okay i'll put that one side i'm going to paint that again tomorrow i'm going to get it i'm going to make it better and that's what you do and this is the only way really this is the only way really that we can learn so just just flicking in a bit of paint like that just flicking in a bit of paint a bit more red up in the top of the sky like that just wiping my brush I'll get this I'm adding a bit more yellow just adding a bit more yellow getting a bit of this purpley color now mix some red and blue together and you'll get a purple I'll put a bit of purple in the sky there we are I want, a, I want a nice dark color I'm mixing a bit of purple now with a little bit of that red blending that in I'm just going to clean my brush very quickly because if you don't clean your brush regular um, especially when you're blending colors like this they tend to to mix together and get all mucky and stuff like that so don't do what I do I'm, I'm quite used to I'm what they call I'm what they call a dirty painter. As I'm saying that, I'm glancing at my cameras, making sure everything is recorded. <laughs> Molly's out there, but barking away because the, the sun has come out today. It's quite nice. She's enjoying the sun. I'm enjoying it in the studio. The walls of my studio. If you've been following along with me, you know I've got a lot of damp in here. My walls of my studio are drying out really lovely at the moment, and um, I've really got to get on to the repair that I need to do so a little bit of a little bit of color there just in the sky like that there you go so we've got a lovely sunsetty type of scene I'm gonna get some of this phyllo blue now I don't use phyllo blue very often but I'm gonna mix a little that with a little bit of purple there we are a little bit of phyllo blue and a little bit of that purple I want a nice dark blue Colour. Now that's my first line. I haven't got any masking tape, but if you've got any paint to pa painters tape, you could dry this section and put some painters tape down, paint to the painters tape. Or you could even if you dry this if you try dry the um dry the sky, you could even paint to your rule like that. And you've got a nice straight line. So here's a little tip for you. But I don't do that. I tend not to do that because I just want to get the paint in done. So I'm not too worried if it's too straight or not. But ideally, if you're painting a seascape, you need this line really straight. There we are. Let's get some white into that now. Let me get that. Lovely. C type of color. There we go. 
me put some reflections on this later on. We need to dry now. If I put some, if I put yellow and and stuff on there now, if I put yellow on there, it's going to go green. We don't want it to go green. We want a little tinge of green in there, but not not a lot, not a lot. Let's just continue to put a little bit of a lighter colour into there now, like this. I'm not sure if a few little tippies in a minute. A few little tippies. <laughs> there we go. So I'm just getting that down. Again, a little bit of this darker colour again. There we are, a bit of that darker colour. Just mixing it in. Like this is a bit of shadow. And this is the sea, by the way. And this is the sea. There we go. A bit of purple. Okay, and that wonderful, wonderful colour in there. I'm trying to avoid going over here too much with some blue and stuff because I want to do something over there and um, I just want to maybe darken up over there just a touch just like that and then get a little bit more white because I want this brighter there there's a reason I'm doing that which will be Self-explanatory in a minute because we can we can cheat, we can paint we can cheat with acrylics. To, well, not cheat, but if if you've got a method and it works for you, then it works for you. That's what we're looking for today. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to dry that out with a hairdryer, and I want to make sure it's really, really, really dry. Lovely. Now you spend a little bit more time than I do um, on that because I'm hoping that's going to be dry enough. Um, um, but I, I, I'm up against the clock a little bit when I do videos like this, and um, I really want to. I want to do videos in a certain time scale. So, but anyway, what I'm going to do now is put a sun in. Um, maybe about that size. Easiest way to do a circle is like that, by the way. There we go. But I'll just do it freehand. There we go. I'll do for now. I'll do for now. I'll dry that off. you want to know your paint is dry always use the back of your finger like that never use your your, your fingertip because there's oil glands little sweat glands in there and you'll get these little grease marks all over your painting if you do that um, it's a nightmare okay so let's use some of my medium mix as I said if you want to know how to mix this then check the eye cards out this is mixing mist in white mist in white or mix in white I should say I use it for mist in um, it's readily available this particular one is called zinc white and there we are it's made by golden open acrylics um, but there's, there's plenty out there on the market and you know if you've watched me before you know exactly what I'm going to be doing I'm going to put a mist of zinc white all over the painting why because I want to make this look out of focus so I'm using a little bit of white just to get that effect it's an out of focus effect and it's killing the color a lot like that there we are okay so I'm gonna dry that with a hairdryer once more 
So hopefully you will see that's not exactly as dry as I want it, but hopefully you should be able to see that it's 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 a little bit blurry now it, because I've killed I killed the colour, I've knocked the colour away. Hopefully you can see the blurriness there. That's what I'm hoping for. So I'm just gonna get a I'm just gonna use the same brush actually. I'm just gonna get a little bit of white and yellow now, maybe. And then just see if I can just use it this brush. I just want a little bit of a a glow, just clean that, that brightness of that sun, a little touch there like that. Let's get a little bit of glow into this sky. Just using a little bit of neat titanium white, just like that. Let's get a little bit of yellow now. Nice bit of yellow. Just getting a little bit of glow in the water, like this. Let's get a little bit of red a little bit of white now you might be wondering where's my other lines what am I going to do with my other lines well that's still going to be the fun bit that's going to be the fun bit. You notice I'm not picking up a lot of paint at any one time. I just want a little bit of colour. A little bit of white there like that. sparkle in the water now we're gonna have a bit of fun now we're gonna have a bit of fun now I'm gonna have a bit of fun I just dropped my paintbrush on the floor so I'll have to use this one um, let's have a look let's see what we can do with this a little bit of black a little bit of black there we go now white white and some blue this is our first line so let's just get that there like that let's get a little bit of darker blue now a little bit of purple maybe let's go down this side Can you tell what it is yet? <laughs> Can you tell what it is yet? I'll tell you what we'll do. I'm going to go a bit higher than that. Because sometimes things grow and we don't want them to, but they do. So you need to go with the flow. You need to go with the flow. So, 
Let's get a bit more purple. Get a bit of white. Bit of yellow. Let's get a little bit up. I want this slightly darker there. There we go. Let's get a little bit of red and yellow. Making a nice orange. Let's get a bit of white just to across the bottom there like that. Bit more white. What we're gonna do now, get some of this purple and some of this black. Because I want to put a, a line in there like that. And then it's a little broken line like that. Get a bit more of this. white bit of blue and white maybe a little bit darker blue than that Let's um, let's get another let's get another brush. There we are. I'm just going to put a few shadows in. Just using a little bit of this phyllo blue, a little bit of this purple color. something missing I need to maybe I don't know if you can see what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I don't know if you can see what I'm trying to do. And in fact, let's get a little bit of... It's a message in a bottle, actually. I don't know if you could see that. <laughs> It doesn't look so good on camera, I don't think. I don't I don't know. So we'll look, see if I can strengthen that up. Put 
a little bit of let's better get a little bit of this ink white in. That'd be a good idea. Let's see if I can put a little bit of reflection on that glass there. There you go. A bit more shadow. Maybe it wants to be a little bit darker there. That's better, that's better. You can see a little bit more now. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Not the best bottle in the world, but I mean, it's been knocked about. It's been it's been in the sea for for, for I don't know how long, but <laughs> that's why it's gone a bit crooked. <laughs> that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Anyway, as you can see, it's just a just a fun little painting. Maybe you can have a little play with and see what you can come up with. Let's put a little bit of. Yellow here and there, like that, maybe. Add a little bit of orange. When you when you play, be careful you don't mess up things, because it's quite easy to do that. I just you can take things too far sometimes and as he says that what I'm going to do now I think I'm going to wrap this up but it's a nice bright colorful type of painting that you can play around with and um, what I'm going to do before I finish is just put a This is giving me an idea for another painting I think I'm going to do. There we go. Anyway, have a go. Have fun. <laughs> it's just a it's just a quick little painting. That I'm, I'm quite happy with that, actually. I might take that on and, and try and improve the bottle and things like that. But, you know, it, there's a message in the bottle. And I think we all need to get the message from the way the world is at the moment. So, um, yeah. I hope you find a message in the bottle. And I hope it leads to a treasure where you can dig up and... Um, who knows what's in the treasure? Who knows what's in that bottle? Who knows where the X marks the spot? Anyway, thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this quick lesson, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.